did he know that every human deserves a second chance? Did he know that life is full of so many unexpected moments? Did you know that you can create an opportunity for yourself where you can decide to commit to new directions and to make your life really become better than it was or possibly best of all other life stages you've ever had to experience? Did you know that you have an upper hand over what you will end up becoming after a moment of taking that fair decision of change? Well, that's exactly what I need you to look for answers to all these questions. Look for answers to them. Stay tuned. <laughs>
the moment that the decision of or the feeling of um, regret, the feeling of wanting to make things really become right with her husband came at the point when she recognized that yes, she had failed, she had wronged. So that's the very first step. Recognize that you have wronged. Don't be so full of yourself trying to prove your point that yes, they told me, I heard it. They didn't set the pictures I saw. I heard. I have proofs. When you take that step, it becomes very difficult for you to exit each other. So first thing, recognize that you have wronged. Now the next step, this woman got herself involved in honest mind rewiring and reflection. So she sat and asked, I mean, why did I do this? Why did I actually take the time to find out more? Ask my friends whether indeed that was my husband, the man who saw was actually my husband. I mean, why did I do this? Do I think my husband would do this? Do I think this man had moved with all these years? Would actually do this? So she was reflecting. She was trying to redirect her thoughts and get her mind, you know, made to go through rewiring. So all that while, she was trying to find ways to get her husband to really understand that indeed she was so sorry. The third thing the woman did was she decided to draw near to all possible sources of positive energy. You know, so she decided to get into a quiet moment, just recharge herself. She decided to prepare a very special meal for her husband. I mean, the meal she, she, um, she knows her husband loves to eat. You know, a meal which when he comes from the seas, I mean, the anger, the stress level, having gone up so high or reduced. I mean, troubles from work. Once he sees the food, all of those would melt away. She prepared those special meals for the husband. So that would be, she was giving a moment to bit by bit with her husband. She was getting him, him hesitation. She was actually getting his husband, or her husband, to now realize that indeed, what my wife did earlier, I see her to have regretted for her actions, and that she, she was really doing all she could to, to earn my love again. So, she was gradually getting into her body, into her whole being, positive energy to the highest level possible. Now, finally, what she did was now to recommit really herself to the new direction. What was the new direction? To make her husband come to understand her that she was really sorry for what she had done and that it was not going to happen again. To be told, and that's life history. When you want to aim for yourself a second chance, it takes you having to go through these four stages, which are very, very much important. You can't do with them. If you're able to engage in them very committedly, whoever it is you might have wronged, whoever it is you might have offended, even when it happens to be your own self, you might have wronged. You will get yourself, forgiving yourself, bouncing back strong, taking a fair move, and beginning to experience real progress in life. Four unique stages. And recognize your fame one, recognize your wrong, engage in honest mind rewiring and reflection, drawing near to all possible sources of positive energy. And then finally, recommitting yourself to the new direction, the new you, the new person you have become, ensuring that what happened before would not happen again. I encourage you to be that good person you always have wanted to be, keeping a positive attitude, learning to forgive yourself, focusing on what is right, being at peace with everyone. Your mental health will remain very, very strong. Stay focused and take care of yourself until I come your way. Felix, another time. I wish you well. Oh, no.